All right, what's up guys? So we're back with a little one. I just want to I just want to get something off my chest and just I want to ramble a little bit, talk about Guilty Gear Strive and, and something I really don't want to see happen with the game. So so far the game's is is been released. I'm loving it, having a great time. I see overwhelming uh, you know, everyone's overwhelmingly positive. It is great. Everyone's happy, but there's a clear, you know, there's a clear elephant in the room. There's something that if you played the game, you know even if you haven't, you're just watching social media, you know about this. So uh, the game has, you know, one or two kind of boss characters uh, added already. The gorilla in the room, that's a better way to put it, yeah. You know, soul bad guy right now. Absolutely busted. I'm not going to go into it, you know, please check the other video. Please check that one out on the channel to hear a little bit more about it. But from, from beta one, for like two years now, we knew he was busted. The devs knew he was busted. They left him out intentionally busted. So just my, my take is that it was all intentional. They planned to nerf him shortly after the game releases. Stemming from that, and something that even before the game came out, I was worried about. and I, I, I had a bad experience. And I feel like whenever I mention this game, it's always in a negative light. I, I, I always feel bad for... for but it just it did so many things wrong that you know it constantly gets brought up. What am I talking about? Yeah, Grand Blue. So don't get me wrong. I played Grand Blue. I, I played it uh, a long time. Thousands of games played. You know, I, I really like it. I still buy all the DLC characters, even if I don't play it that much anymore. But there are a lot of things they did wrong. And one of the things, you know, don't uh, no net play comments. We're not talking about that. You know, they fixed that with Strive. But something they did in Grand Blue that really, really, really annoyed me as a player was the amount of patching, the amount of patching and updates they did with this game. It was almost like once a month, it felt like. It was at least once every two months, sometimes it was like even faster. It was crazy. So the game was out less than a year. It, it's been out for over a year now, but like within the first year, it was insane. It was like patch after patch after patch after patch after patch. And I think some other genres, you know, some other genres, maybe like League of Legends or Dota, like that might be the norm or something. But a fighting game is very, very, very different. You know, that's part of the fun of fighting games. It's like, this is this is really strong. How the player is going to learn to deal with it? Or maybe you develop a tech with this like really cool thing. You spend a lot of time. You guys figure out like, wow, we got this great way to use this technique. It's wonderful. And then the devs just come out and just wipe it out. And it's like, well, what the hell was that, right? Did, the, didn't really get time to develop or really like grow. And, and we never really got to see the potential of certain characters or certain moves or something like that. So Grand Blue really... It was insane. Not only if you're a serious player, so there's another thing that I I don't like about it, is not if you're a serious player, if you're a sweat, and it's your main game, it's all you play, it's annoying, right? It's annoying because you learn something and then it gets it changed. But if you're not a serious player, so if you're a casual player, or you play the game on the side, it's annoying as hell when the game gets patched constantly. Let's say you're a Street Fighter player, okay? You're a Street Fighter player, you're playing Grand Blue on the side. You don't want to dedicate a ton of time to it, but you learn how to play, you learn your character, you're having a good time, and you know, whenever you go to an event or something, you know, you're down to play it. But when you learn how to play your character, you go back to your main game, and then this, your character gets changed. You have to relearn him. It's like, God damn it, I don't have time to do that. All right, I'll relearn him. So then you relearn him, you spend a week, back to your main game, change again. The motivation to, to relearn a character, it just, it's gone. And that happened to me. I was like, all right, I'm playing it. They did a patch. I was like, I'll relearn my character. They did it again. I was like, well, I'm going to play some other stuff. They relearned it. I can't keep up anymore. You know? You pick up the game, and it's completely different. It's like, what the hell? What happened? All my combos don't work. Like, these uh, like block strings I learned, I spent time. They're all gone now. Like, what am I supposed to do? And it's not like they really added anything. It's not like they made a brand new game that's, like, really cool and exciting. They just kind of, like, mix things around. You know? They just kind of, like, change, like, oh, that's unsafe now. Why? It's like, oh, we just want to make it unsafe. It, it, it's really, really frustrating. So my, my fear for Strive, you know, even though we need balance patches, don't get me wrong, we absolutely need balance patches. Soul. <coughs> Ram, you can get it too. I just hope the frequency of the Strive balance patches are much, much, much less than Grand Blue. What is a good number? I don't know. I'm used to the old Blaze Blue. So my, my ideal balance patch is Blaze Blue status. So Blaze Blue didn't patch their games. Blaze would just put out a new version like once a year or once like a year, every year and a half. That was mad fun. So like you play the version of Blaze Blue, like you play BBCT, you're like, oh shit, this game sucks. Like by the time I was like, this game sucks. It's like, oh, don't worry, CS is coming out. So then you play CS, you're like, damn, this game is godlike. And then, you know, a year goes by, like, wait a second, this game is trash. You're like, hold on, 
we got a new one. Wait, we got a new game coming out CS2. You're like, all right, let's try that. You're like, damn, this game is sick. And it, it just always goes like that. You know, by the time you really figure it out, you're like, damn, this, guy, this game is busted. They're like, we got a new one. We got a new one. One time a year sounds good to me. But I think with modern, modern age, maybe a little bit more. But two? That's max, please. Arcs, if you're watching, two. Please, two, two. But yeah, that's just, just my take. It's from a, an old, old school player. You might be wondering why, why you got Marvel music. Because, you know, this is just kind of what you grew up with. So old fighting games, before, you know, pre-internet days, there was no updates, right? People still play Marvel. It's still busted, right? There's still, like, infinites and super broken balance and everything, right? This is how old fighting games were. Like you just, they put out a game, you play with it. If something's really, really busted, if something's super busted, then the community has to come in and, and band it together. Is this better? No, I don't think so. I am definitely a fan of, you know, patching when needed, but just please, please be uh, scarce about it. But yeah, there we go. I just want to get my thoughts out there. Share it. Hopefully someone in Arxis will listen. Please, please don't don't give me a repeat of this game. Not just for me, for the, the players as well. Because, you know, one of the cool things about Strive is a lot of people are playing it as a secondary game, you know? So for those people as well, so they don't completely quit, don't screw around with the game too much. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, is there a fighting game that does well with the patches? Is there... I, NRS does too much, right? Is what I heard? I don't know. Is there an example that I don't know? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next one. Peace.